Good morning, you doxa and everyone that's listening to this message this morning. Uh, it's such a privilege to spend time. And this week, we are going to talk around the theme of Psalm 23. And it begins like this. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. And God reveals himself as a shepherd to us. Jesus Christ reveals himself also as a shepherd. He says in John 10, 14, I am the good shepherd. I know my own and I am known by my own. In verse 11 says, I lay my life down for the sheep. It's a striking image that God is using of himself and Jesus also uses of himself to, to, re, to reveal himself to us. Because when we think of a shepherd, it's an, a shepherd protects, a shepherd leads, a shepherd feeds, a shepherd takes care. And it brings security to us when we think of God um, in that way. It, um, and, and, and that's why probably this psalm is one of the most famous psalms in the Bible. But this week, we are going to change the theme a little bit. Have you ever thought of yourself as a shepherd? Um, the shepherd of your family, the shepherd of your business, the people you are responsible to, the shepherd of your friends. Have you ever thought of yourself in those terms? Have you, do you know that the, the word pastor means shepherd? And 1 Peter 5 verse 2 says the following, uh, Shepherd the flock of God among you, not out of compulsion, but willingly. So we need to know that we are also shepherds. When Jesus restored Peter in John 21 and also called him to be the leader of the church, he said, do you love me? Verse 15. And then he said, feed my lambs. Do you love me? He repeat himself in verse 16. And when, John, and when Peter says yes, he says, tend my sheep. And then a third time, do you love me? And when John says, uh, Peter says yes, he says, feed my sheep. This is so important to take note. When Paul uh, talked to the Ephesians, probably for the last time, he says, For I know this, that after my departure, wolves shall enter amongst the flock and, they, and will not spare them. You need to tend the flock that you are responsible to. You need to protect them. You need to lead them. You need to feed them. What if Psalm 23 is not just a psalm that give us consolation about who God is, but is an inspiration and an example that we need to follow as parents, as teachers, as pastors, as bosses, as friends, to be good shepherds. May you have a week where you are a shepherd. Let's pray together. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you that you gave us the example in Psalm 23 of how to be a good shepherd and help us to follow your good example. I pray that in Jesus' name. May you be a good shepherd in the week to come. God bless and thank you for listening.